Hi guys. It is a fine Monday morning here in the end times in paradise in the green mountains of Vermont where I am heading to do something I never thought I would do in my entire life. I am going for an acupuncture treatment to deal with his shoulder and right arm. Hambone Little Tail, alien abductee, is going to get needles stuck in his in his body. And then we're gonna head out into the wilderness, so I uh, don't have time for a full rant here on this lovely Monday morning, July 15th today. Uh, but before I get into our short but sweet we are so fucked doomer headline of the day send out a big thank you to two kind-hearted tribes members one chat and suzanne one chat and suzanne for their kind donations to uh my gofundme account to get sancho back on four legs and to keep this show on the road and uh, if my computer will hand over the we are so fucked headline uh, this computer is completely fucked I don't know uh, it's only a matter of time anyway before the story disappears what is going on in the Arctic today among other things going on in the Arctic today we have unprecedented fires, meaning wildfires. We have unprecedented <coughs> wildfires burning <coughs> in the Arctic. <coughs> Guys, I have not coughed. I've been up for two hours. I have not coughed one time. Speaking of wildfire smoke, no, we're still fairly clear today. My guess is the smoke from the Canadian wildfires will start blowing back in shortly. Okay, but we're going to go up to Siberia and Alaska where we can find smoke rising over the forest of Siberia and Alaska. The World Meteorological Organization called the wildfires now burning around the Arctic unprecedented. The United Nations Agency noted that over 100 intense wildfires have burned inside the Arctic Circle. So we're, we're talking north of the Arctic Circle, which I don't even think, I think this big ass fire sending the smoke down here, I don't even think that's included in this. this they're just talking about wildfires burning inside the Arctic Circle. Um, so the, the, the UN, blah, 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 over 100 intense fires inside the Arctic Circle alone over the past six weeks, releasing more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than Sweden does in an entire year. A rare fire even ignited in Greenland amid unusually hot and dry weather. And uh, I, I can only imagine what this is doing uh, to the methane. Uh, it's probably the, the methane is one of the things that's sparking. N nothing like a, an out of control wildfire in the tundra in the permafrost. Good God, we're so fucked. Okay. Amplified wildfires are an expected, predictable consequence of a warming climate. No shit, Sherlock. This is all the more true in the Arctic, a sprawling region that is heating up twice as fast as the rest of the globe. The profound changes in the Arctic can be easily observed over the Arctic Ocean also, where sea ice has broken records for melting 
throughout this summer. Yes, over the course of 10 days in July, Alaskan wildfires burned an area of land the size of Rhode Island. This is way above normal. Yes, that's also known as 1.26 million acres have burned in the past couple of weeks uh, in Alaska. The largely Arctic state, uh, meaning Alaska, had its warmest, just wrapped up its warmest 12 month period on record. Can you draw these are these are some real tough dots to draw here. Uh, just across the Bering Sea in Siberia, NASA satellite images from July 13th show dense smoke swirling over eastern Russia with red spots designating wildfires. <clears throat> While a warming climate itself does not create weather events or wildfires, it amplifies these events and significantly boosts the odds of such events occurring. That's why leading climate scientists emphasize looking at the bigger picture and following trends, and the trends are clear. On Earth, 18 of the 19 warmest years on record have occurred since 2001. Warmer climes mean an atmosphere that holds more water, which translates to a boost in pummeling deluges like the type that flooded Washington, D.C. earlier this week and, of course, down there in Louisiana. The U.S. just experienced its wettest 12 months in 124 years of recorded history. <clears throat> Such warming also means momentous declines in Arctic sea ice amplified, growing sea ice amplified, and growing drought in arid swaths of the United States, and fires that are burning for weeks longer than they were in the 1980s. The future may have its many unknowns, but it is almost certain that the Arctic will be a smokier place as the region continues a relentless, accelerating warming trend. And don't forget this July, Anchorage, Alaska hit 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the hottest day ever recorded in the city's history. But it is going to be 74 here in the Green Mountains today. And uh, I was going to get into this story uh, from, I think this is from Al Jazeera. Uh, what is it called? But I'm gonna I'm gonna make this my chronicle of the collapse for tomorrow because I have to go get uh, needles stuck in me, and my computer does not want to give me. Oh, here we go. Why a hipster vegan green tech economy is not sustainable improving eco-efficiency within a capitalist growth-oriented system will not, will not save the planet. No shit, Sherlock, but uh, this is, I love it, these stories calling out these hipsters, these save the planet beautiful people like the ones pouring into Austin that make me want to puke. But that will be my chronicle of the collapse today. But right now, I have to get ready to get needles stuck in me before my damn right arm 
goes completely paralyzed as we are so fucked. Bye guys.